ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. I am Draco Thuban, and we are going to go after our second Colossus. We just defeated the Minotaur in the uh, last episode, and uh, now we are going to the slow moving one by the sea. He's also nicknamed yeah. the Mammoth. Yeah. Yeah. Try to remember them all. I got them up. I just uh, <laughs> got to reference them when I get there. So, anywho, yeah. um, what yeah. I didn't show you last time really is how to find these guys. Um, you hold circle, and what that does is that makes this light shine. As you can see, if you're not facing the right way, they're all scattered. But as you move towards it, they come together. And if you find the spot where they all come together, you're uh, facing the right yeah. way. And uh, you're, if you're using the actual uh, PlayStation 2, then yeah. your controller will vibrate as well when you get to the right spot. But uh, we can see his little area right down there. Yeah. And uh, you can also yeah. use that to find the weaknesses on yeah. the uh, Colossi as well. I get lost and I get uh, distracted into this game and don't say anything for a while, I apologize, but uh, this game has some great, great sound, some great, uh, I mean the visuals aren't spectacular, they're nice, but uh, it's just the whole ambiance of the game just drags you in. And, uh, very fun game, very, i definitely pick this one up and, and play it or, you know, find somewhere that you can play this game somehow. than the last guy. Um, we don't have anywhere we can just grab onto. So what we have to do is he's, he's got little marks on his feet. So what you want to do is shoot them with an arrow. Now sometimes it's easier than others. Um, I mean you can luck in and get shots like this. But uh, it doesn't always happen quite that way. Um, the easiest way to do it is to get him towards you, ah, like so, and uh, he will actually, hey there, um, try to stomp on him. Let's see if he does it. Yes, he'll rear back, and then we let fly. Oh, oh that's, not good. that's not good. There we go, I got him. Now the side that he falls towards is the side that you want to get up. So let's go ahead and climb on up here. Now this is actually kind of difficult in uh, in hard mode because you don't have a whole lot of grip to get up here. So uh, you really can't hold on to a lot. Very little area. Now, the first spot. Right over here. Uh, I take a good running jump, that way I don't have to hold on to his fur too long. Die! Die some more! Taste cold steel! Okay, now that one's gone, um, we probably don't have enough grip to make it where we need to make it, so uh, 
we are going to try to get back to our ledge here. If you don't make it, don't worry, just, you know, reshoot and climb back up, but, uh, yeah, I really don't want to do that, so, there we go, and you can jump to the left and to the right as well, uh, sometimes it's faster, depending on where you're at. So now I believe we've got two spots left on this guy. First spot is up here on his tail. Now each time you defeat a Colossus, you gain a little bit more grip and a little bit of health. Um, and when you beat the game, it basically just starts you over, but with the same amount of grip and health that you ended the last game with. So after you play this like five or six times, maybe not even that many, but you know three or four times, um, you have a lot of grip, a lot of health, and the game gets pretty easy. Also, uh, a lot of the beating the game is a time attack mode, where you are sent straight to the battle with the Colossi, and uh, you have to beat them in a certain amount of time. The time differs between the normal and the hard mode as well. Um, in the, in the time attack mode, you will uh, actually be able to unlock different items and accessories that will help you defeat the uh, Colossi in the normal game. So, pretty cool. You can get like explosive arrows and uh, whistling arrows. You get uh, that mask that you saw at the, at the intro. You can get that as well. Uh, some capes, and you know, actually you'll see it, and it'll make you look a little different and, and cool. I like the eyes, too. The normal eyes are green, and then uh, when you strike them and get them pissed off, their uh, their eyes change colors. Okay, now we don't want to fall, so hopefully we can get the last one, but uh, if not, we're just going to stand up for a moment and get a little bit of grip back. If I fall, it's going to probably put me over my time limit, and I don't want that. So, we're going to make sure we don't fall. Yep, it looks like I will. But not this time. This is going to kill it. And I will stop here at the save. Uh, that's number two down. And I will see you next time on Let's Play Shadow of the Colossus. Thanks for watching.